If you watched the last video, you realize that this is at the end of the trip and I'm putting this in now because I'm a lazy bum and I forgot to do it whenever I was making the uh, video. But I wore a different hat so you wouldn't get confused. It's not the same video, it's a different one. Like some of our uh, videos for us, please. They're watching the likes and the comments on videos a lot more now with their algorithm and subscribe to our channel. Over 92% of y'all that watch our videos regularly, basically, like all the time, you're not subscribed. So do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything and it's helping us build towards our goal. Anyway, back to the video. All right, y'all, day two out here in the kayak. I'm gonna try something a little bit different than I did yesterday. So I'm gonna be suspend fishing most of the time. I'm gonna try deeper waters. I got this uh, gizzard shad that I'm gonna try and I got some more skipjacks. So we're just gonna see what they, what they want. I'm anchored over a spot. It keeps going between 41 and 45 feet deep. And I seen some pretty good marks on the screen. So I'm gonna try dropping down to them lifting my bait up about three feet and then uh just seeing what they do they may not want the gizzard shad but i figured we'll try it we get the rest of mine rigged up real quick Ooh, we got a good one right here oh he's pulling line He doubled that thing down. He took a little bit of line too. feels heavy but he's not really fighting hard I think I'm gonna hit spot lock right here see some bubbles coming up this might be a flathead it's not really rolling hmm Got a blue in the back. <laughs> he hit it and, and missed it. You tried for it, didn't you, big guy? He might come off before I can get him, and that'll be okay. He went for that gizzard, Chad. Come on, guy. Look. Woo! Splash of water. Got a little bit on y'all. We'll clean y'all up in a second. It might be a little blurry right now. Oh, he is barely hung. I might lose him before I can get him, but that'll be okay. We all see what he looks like. Ooh. We'll just do you that way, buddy. Ah. We'll just tail grab you. How about that? Oh. Wow. Give myself a little bit of slack. Almost couldn't get that out. Whew. Look at that. This thing ought to come out super easy. Thank you. 
Where you at, buddy? Let me get that face. Hey, not bad for my first drift. Probably 10 pounds, maybe. He's pretty, he's pretty fat and chunky. Let's uh, get a little picture real quick. Let's see. Oh, that one's buried down. Look at that. Look at that. All right, you got to go, buddy. Let it go. Uh, I think I lost him. Dang. Messing with him. Had a fish. Oh, well. We're in a good spot, apparently. So they're hitting the gizzard shad. Let me drop this back down. Got one. Well, I'm just barely drifting a few feet at a time, like nothing major. And they're picking up the bait. So the first one, first two hits was on the gizzard shad. This one's on the uh, skipjack head. I'm just taking my time reeling them up in this deep water. You don't want them to get a lot of air in their air bladder. Oh man. Oh, he's in my other line. Is he all up in it? Yeah, he is all up in my other line. Big flathead. Big flathead. Not super big, but a good one. Come on got him mm, mm. yeah you can freak out all you want to right there buddy yeah I hear you yep burping a lot trying to get all that air out all righty we're gonna try to untangle you real quick But I got that one. Not bad. It's a good flathead. Look at this fat thing, man. <laughs> this is not bad. All right, chunky monkey. Woo! Thank you. I needed a shower. <laughs> jerk <laughs> oh. two good fish I'm gonna keep drifting this little area right here I'm 48 foot it's doing it oh, it's funny when this pole first hit I was on the the phone with Joe from chat cats talking to him I didn't have a time to turn it on as he bent it down this a big big giant chunk of skipjack he pulled a little line in the beginning but now he's not really fighting, so I don't I don't really think he's that big. Yeah, he's just kind of coming up. He's head banging a little. Oh. He's gonna get in my other lines. He's digging a little bit now. Uh, 
come on, buddy. He's right here underneath me. Oh, that's a good blue. <laughs> good fat blue. I'm gonna let him kind of just sit there for a second and wear himself out. He come in a little too green. Ah, it slid off. He's got a fat lip. There we go. Got him. Come on. I'll put him on this side for a second while I'm get the rod out of the way. Oh. Look at how fat this thing is. Is these are some fat, fat catfish. They're full of eggs. All right, get out of here. Down it goes. Oh, it's sweet. Oh. Nothing on the uh, the down baits yet. Not you know, not right now. I got they got those two earlier drifting, but. That one was casted out into the deeper water. I might need to go ahead and move over into deeper water and just see if maybe that's it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to about where I cast it at and see if that makes a difference. I'm either hungry or I got a fish. Oh. Oh, I got a fish. I can't even get this thing out of the rod holder. Oh. Oh. About to hit spot lock. Stay right here. Yeah, this is a big fish. He is he is taking line. I can't tell if this is a big blue or a big flathead. This is on that giant skipjack head though. That huge, huge skipjack head. Wow, look at that. Wow, this is a monster fish right here. Look at him pull a line. Look at him pull a line. Going straight back down to the bottom. Woo! Can you believe this? On that huge skipjack head. I thought I was hung. I literally thought I was hung. Wow, this is crazy. It feels like that one yesterday. Just big. I almost bet it's a big flathead by the way it's fighting. Oh my God, it's a huge flathead. It's a huge, huge flathead. That is a huge flat head.
There's literally, I, ooh, man, I cannot believe that. Ooh, this pole's getting hit now. I got a fish on this one that's full of line. First, I'm gonna try to get this rod up out of the way. I love it when it gets crazy. Ugh. Tell you what, we'll do this. Is this one still on? I think he is. I'm literally just got this giant flathead just sitting here while I try to catch whatever this is. It's a decent sized blue. I'm just gonna let him kind of do his thing. I'm gonna loosen the drag up a little bit so he can just kind of do his own thing. Wow, dude. Wow, this is a monster flathead. Monster flathead. He's probably going to lose his mind once I put this on him. Got him. Wow, dude. Could you believe this? On that huge daggum skipjack head. Uh, Alright. This is going to have to go back here out of the way put this rod over here alrighty wow dude look at the size of this flathead that the size of that bait <sighs> yeah I know you're mad Let me up. <sighs> look at this thing <sighs> look at him this is this is crazy <sighs> All right, I gotta let him go. I'm gonna hold on till you get your breath back, buddy. We'll get a picture of you while you're in the water, too. head underwater for a minute let him get his breath I didn't mean to keep him out of the water that long it's just as tough to handle a fish that big I'll unclip you just whenever you're ready buddy you go what you gonna do Wow, 
Wow, look at that thing go. Straight down. Once again, now I gotta deal with this guy. He's just a little thing compared to that one, but still. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna deal with him out of the water. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna unhook him. He even like 10 pounds or so. 12 pounds maybe. It's not really that big. Alright, skip take that the other way. Come on. I might have to put him in to get get the hook out. Not the same compared to that other one. Give it back. <laughs> uh, little guy, <laughs> not the same. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I two giant fish in the same trip. One yesterday, a giant blue. Today, giant flathead well, cat. Being stupid, trying to to get the line undone and everything. I just broke the tip off of this rod. <sighs> that gummit. Catch a giant catfish and then break a rod. <sighs> Don't matter. Let me see what kind of. I'm gonna take it home. I'm gonna put my rod building stuff on. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm gonna put a new tip right there. This thing's just gonna be a daggum freaking pull stick. That was my fault, being stupid. I should have, I should have just took the time to undo it. Crap. After that fish, I don't even care. I literally don't even care right now.